There's a couple of different generations of the Max Drive vest, and basically what it is is a mesh vest that's designed to do a couple things. One of them being help distribute the weight of your soft body armor, and the other one being to provide ventilation so that your undershirt stays cooler, you stay cooler, and you can just be more comfortable and more efficient in your day-to-day -day work process. I've been wearing the Max Drive for several months underneath body armor. Typically I wear it over a cotton shirt like this. 221B does also make more of like an Under Armour type shirt or you could use it with some type of Under Armour-ish shirt um, that would probably increase the performance and the level of comfort that you're feeling. But even with a, just a cotton t-shirt underneath, it works ex exceptionally well. So generally I put on the 221B Max Dry, then I put my softer armor on over the top, then a duty shirt or a polo on over the top of that. However, you can use the Max Drive vest on the outside of a duty shirt if you're running an external carrier for your soft armor. Another thing to take into consideration, a couple points that maybe it's just kind of came to my head, but if you'll notice here, I actually have my radio attachment hooked into or hooked onto the Max Drive. That gives me a good consistent point of reference for that earpiece, which is a big deal for me because I feel like if it's too loose or it's too tight, it's either flopping out of my ear and it doesn't really stay in, it just feels uh, bad, not secure, or if it's too tight, it's pulling on my ear and putting unnecessary stress on that. So I like having just a consistent point of reference rather than always going off of your shirt or something like that. So that's definitely a positive. The second positive that I see is that being that I just wear soft body armor directly over the Max Dry and a t-shirt, having some breathability there helps separate my body sweat from getting onto my armor. And that's what's going to break down your ballistic panels in a Kevlar vest is sweating. As far as sizing goes, I'm pretty sure that 221B suggests going one size smaller with your Max Dry than what your t-shirt size is. So I wear a large t-shirt and I have a medium Max Dry on there. And what happens if you go a size bigger, uh, you know, say I had a large Max Dry on with a large t-shirt size, that Max Dry vest will actually get bunched up underneath my body armor and that's going to decrease the airflow and actually really just add um, a lot more heat buildup inside there because it won't be breathing. You're just adding one more thick layer that's doing nothing other than making you hot. But refer to the 221B tactical site for sizing. They got great sizing charts and great information on there. One of the first things that I noticed was the additional size space, the additional circumference of my body prior to putting on my body armor with the Max Dry underneath. So considering the thickness of the Max Dry vest, when you're talking about the front and the back panel, you have roughly a half inch of additional material underneath your armor um, and underneath your work shirt. I wouldn't say that it by any stretch of the imagination hinders or limits your mobility, but you do feel that extra material underneath there. And one of the things you want to be careful with when you put your body armor on over the top of your Max Dry is that you don't over tighten it. So for me, when I put my armor on without the Max Dry for a long time, I just got used to always consistently attaching the Velcro of my body armor at the same spot on the armor, which would then over tighten the Max Dry and eliminate that possibility for airflow. So I'm actually securing my vest in a wider position to make up for the additional girth with the Max Dry, but it feels just as tight because of the extra circumference. So. Anybody that works in a hot climate that has to wear body armor, like I said, this works with the external carriers or body armor underneath your duty shirt. I highly suggest that you check out the Max Drive vest and check out the other shirts that they have, their moisture wicking shirts, if you don't want to run something like a cotton t-shirt underneath that. So a lot of good stuff coming out of there. It's worth the money. I believe it comes in right around $85 or $90, and it's money well spent to prolong the the lifespan of your vest. Again, keeping that sweat off your body armor and the deterioration rate down a little bit. And it also just makes you that much more comfortable so that at the end of a long shift when you peel off your armor and your max dry, you might have some sweat built up on your shirt depending on how hot it is or how long you're wearing it, but it's significantly less sweat and odor and all that other stuff with the max dry. So outstanding product. We hope that armed professionals out there that have to wear body armor come across this video. I think it's going to make you a lot more comfortable on the job. Stay safe out there, everybody. We'll see you next time, and we never quit. It's all that war, my God. It was about my heart, the back and forth, but I never give up, because I come from a part of this